Hello water signs, I'm here to give you insight for the month of March 2023. So I've already laid out the cards and we're just going to see what we can see. Okay, we got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So Cancer, let's see what's going on with you. Holding a grudge. Cancer, you're holding a grudge or someone is holding a grudge against you. Um, holding a grudge um, prevents you from moving forward. Okay, so try to address this cancer um like i said it, it could be you or the person you're dealing with that's holding a grudge scorpio let's see user so scorpio you could be using someone or someone is using you i was hearing for your benefits in some type of way for using you for information all right um but yeah you could be using someone or someone could be using you Someone could be a user, okay, like a user and abuser or using substances, things like that. Pisces, ooh, abusive, Pisces, abusive. So Pisces, you're being a little naughty during this, <laughs> during this month. You or the person you are dealing with, okay. Uh, abusive uh, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, okay, you name it. So, um yeah, you could be experiencing this or you can be in this low vibration. Take it as it resonates. Um, this could also talk about like abusing substances or abusing power. All right. But yeah, I was, I was hearing like somebody being verbally abusive, Pisces. You think somebody's verbally abusive? Okay, maybe even verbally manipulative in some type of way all right let's see what's going on water signs water signs let's see water signs um i was also hearing pisces you're so in my spirit <laughs> i was also hearing somebody could be very manipulative and it's like um the way that they're manipulative it's it's subtle it's like you don't really notice it off the bat but then you know as you get to know this person you realize what the, what they're all about okay all right Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you guys in the month of March. chalice okay so there you are six of swords knave of wands which is a page and then we have the eight of chalice Ooh we okay so the knight of chalice here water signs i feel like you're taking action when it comes to your emotions when it comes to love like you're following i love this glistening here <laughs> this gold foil um you're taking action when it comes to love when it comes to um following your heart and, and desires here okay you also could be dealing with a knight of chalice person who could be a somewhat flighty wishy-washy when it comes to their emotions they this is like an energy of someone who likes to pollinate all the flowers okay so you could be dealing with someone with water energy here they don't have to be a sun sign water sun water sign but they could have like water energy or qualities about them okay um, but this is somebody who likes to kind of um they pick and choose you know when they want to show affection okay that's for some of you not all of you all right, I was hearing I'm on a quest. So, I mean, you could be in search of love. You could be on a quest to finding um, a partner, someone that loves you unconditionally. All right, um, the Six of Swords is the Lord of Earned Success here. So I see that this is definitely a quest here. This is travel. Some of you could be traveling in the month of March. All right. It could be a staycation, vacation. This is like traveling away from home here. So I, I do see that here with the Six of Swords. Um, this is also moving away from difficulty, moving towards calmer waters. This is Mercury and Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or have this in your chart here. 
Uh, but this is definitely a journey here. This is definitely a journey. Embarking on a new journey. I was hearing new experiences here, which makes a lot of sense with the Knave of Wands. All right. So you could be dealing with the um, Leo Sagittarius Aries, or you could have this in your chart. So it's like you're on a new journey. Um, you're on an adventure. I was hearing you're discovering who you are. You have fire within you, or you're encouraged to ignite this fire within you. Um, I was hearing take a chance. Take a chance on yourself. Seek something new and exciting. All right. Some of you could very well be doing that or this, like I said, this could be encouragement here. Um, you're also desiring to get out there and meet other people. You know, it's Mercury. So Mercury is communication, intellect, and reason. It's, you know, it's the mind here. So I feel like with Aquarius being here, you know, Aquarius is the 11th house. It's the social life, friends, goals. So it's like you are pursuing this. You want to get you want to get out there and meet people, even like minded people, you know, maybe people who share the same beliefs as you or just getting out there with friends, enjoying enjoying yourself. Um we have the eight of chalices here. So this is the Lord of abandoned success. So I see here that water signs, you've left something behind. This is Saturn and Pisces here. So a very difficult situation, you know, Saturn is the planet of restriction, pessimism and structure. Um, but there's a lesson that you're learning here, or you're encouraged to learn a lesson. There's something that you've left behind here. Um, all right. Somebody, it could have been somebody that you were dealing with that they weren't really who they said, say they were. They may have kept some secrets or there could have been some hidden enemies. That's like 12th house energy, um, Pisces, right? So I feel like you're leaving this behind. You're leaving this behind, uh, this unfulfilled success. You're in pursuit of your holy grail. And I feel like your holy grail, your happiness is, would be just connecting with people who are like-minded, people who are genuine, um, people who are authentic as well. Okay. I do see the eight of chalice as someone who could be returning as well. Um, let's just get some clarification on the eight of chalice, eight of chalice. I was hearing like leaving something behind, like you're leaving something behind, something that no longer fulfills you, something that is just ran its course. All right. The eight of chalice is the judgment. So there was an awakening. You realize you realize something here. Um, water signs. You realize something and you're deciding to take action you're deciding to move forward i also see this judgment as something that was buried resurfacing again and this could just be i was hearing a repeat offender okay this is this is a repeat offender somebody you're dealing with okay saturn saturn rules capricorn aquarius you could have been dealing with an aquarius you also could have been dealing with another you know water sign person cancer Pisces, scorpio whatever it doesn't matter but um a repeat offender here okay and so you're moving away from this repeat offender and somebody could see you as a repeat offender and so they're deciding to move on take it as it resonates but this is awareness here um you know i also see something like I mentioned before, something that was buried is resurfacing again. And you're like, okay, I don't, I don't want to keep dealing with this anymore. Okay. I thought I buried this. I thought I was done with this and it just keeps showing up. And this could be an ex or somebody that's just returning. Okay. This could be also, um, a phone call, somebody reaching out to you that you haven't heard from in a while. Okay. And I don't see that you're interested for some of you water signs you're not really interested you could also be reaching out to someone that you hadn't talked to in a while you thought that was just done and over with okay but they're showing their head again i was also hearing they're showing their ugly head again okay <laughs> what else is going on with water signs Um, yeah, somebody also, oh goodness, somebody could be telling you that, that they had a child. Okay. Water signs. Okay. There, this could be, there could be a child here and somebody could be telling you that you have a child. Okay. 
come showing up and you haven't talked to them in a long time and they're like, oh, hey, by the way, you have a son, you know, with the knave of, of wands here. You have a child. <laughs> and you're like, what? Okay, we have the eight of wands. Eight of wands. And we have the Hierophant. So some of you are getting getting married very quickly through that uh, <laughs> Las Vegas chapel. Okay. Um, we have Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. We have the Hangman here. Okay. So the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is the Lord of Swiftness. This is Mercury and <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, with the, with the hair up on, I was hearing a shotgun, a shotgun wedding. Okay. This is what I see. This is not for all of you water signs. This is for some of you, maybe even one of you, but this is a shotgun wedding here. Okay. Going through the drive through to get married. <laughs> um, if that's not the case, I do see movement here. I do see, um, uh, relocating. I do see that you're, uh, what's on your mind. It's like you're, you're wanting to, be free. You're, you're, you're looking for a change. You're looking for, uh, like newness here. Okay. Um, I also see that with the eight of wands and the Hierophant, the Hierophant does talk about, you know, a teacher, um, it can talk about a corporation. It can talk about, um, yeah, like a corporation here. There could be news or messages messages coming through regarding a corporation. So it could be news about receiving an offer or somebody wanting to reach out to you, to interview you, to have you join their corporation. Um, so this could be a message is coming through in regards to work here because we have eight of pentacles here. And then we have the hangman. Some of you are on the fence about this. This message that's coming through, you're kind of on the fence about it. You don't know if you should accept the offer or not. This news could be also coming through um, from a person. This could be a father figure eat as well. All right. Um, it could be a Taurus. It also could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I also see a Virgo. I see Gemini. All right. Maybe also a Scorpio as well. Uh, this could also be news coming from somebody. Uh, they want to take the relationship to a whole new level with you, but you understand that there's work that needs to be done, or maybe you're just focused on work. This eight of pentacles is sun and Virgo. So this is the Lord of material prudence. All right. Somebody is trying to rush a relationship. They're trying to rush a marriage here. Like they're trying to solidify something here they're trying to lock you in because we have two number eights here and the hair fonts in the middle so they're trying to lock you in this very well could be a corporation or a job that really wants you um i was hearing scouting so somebody who really wants you to work for their organization they want to lock you in okay or this is a person that wants to lock you in okay if it's not a person that's romantically interested in you this could be somebody who has strong beliefs this could very well be you uh water sign. You could have very strong beliefs as the Hierophant. You know, you're very aligned with God and your, your personal beliefs here. All right. And I don't know why I was hearing. I'm not, I'm not with the BS. That's for some of you, not all of you, but there is an energy of someone who wants to get married, who wants to solidify this connection. Let's just see what the Hierophant is giving. Oh Lord, I'm not gonna take that. What is the Hierophant giving? What is the Hierophant giving? What is the Hierophant giving? There could be travel to go and see uh, a Hierophant. This could be a teacher, uh, somebody with, I don't know. I wanted to say somebody with status, but it's not like the emperor energy. All right, but this is someone who's kind of set in their ways in some type of way. I mean, it's Taurus is a fixed sign. What is the Hierophant giving? What is the Hierophant giving? The Hierophant is giving the Knight of Wands, Lord. Okay, so Libra, Leo, okay, it could be a Libra. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Oh, man. 
So this hair font, this could be somebody, <laughs> this could be somebody that talks a good game. All right. They're a hot boy. Okay. They're a hot boy or they're a hot girl. Okay. They're just, they're just hot. Okay. If you know what I mean, they're just, I don't know. They can be somewhat flighty. Um, they're really set in their ways and their beliefs, but I don't know. I was hearing double talk. This could be somebody that double talks. They kind of talk a good game here. So just be really mindful of this because this person really wants to move fast when it comes to you, water signs. All right. Or this could be you maybe wanting to move fast. Okay. But you're needing to be very, um, just be very careful. Um, Okay, this is somebody who could be very impatient as well and very bossy, dogmatic too, in a sense. They'll tell you everything that's wrong with you, okay? <laughs> They'll tell you everything that's wrong with them, uh, wrong with you, uh, but they have very strong beliefs. Um, they may even practice certain religions or certain ritual practices, things like that, this, this type of person, but they'll definitely tell you what's wrong with you. Okay, they won't, sometimes they won't, well, they won't look at themselves half the time or most of the time here. All right, but you're on the fence here with the hangman. You're on the fence for some of you. For others of you, you're focused on, you're choosing not to accept this offer. You're focused on building your future. You're focused on uh, like carefully planning for your future. I see here with the eight of pentacles, this is also minding your business. I do see like you're minding your business, doing what you need to do. And here comes this person. Here comes this energy here. And the hangman, this is uh, surrendering. This is letting go of what no longer serves you. This is also looking at your situation uh, from another, a different perspective. I see here. Some of you could be so uptight too. You're needing to just get out and, and you're, you're so focused on your business. Some of you could be business owners and you're so focused on just structure, order, all that stuff. You're not having any fun. You need to release yourself. You need to let your hair down. You need to do something fun. Take a trip. Um, be spontaneous. You know, um, I don't know why I was getting a vision of Marilyn Monroe and her skirt flying up. Just have fun. <laughs> There's a need for you to have some fun to enjoy life a bit here. Okay. What is this hangman? What is this hangman? I was hearing that. I don't know. It's, it's on... Um, Oh, this is a sun. So I don't know if it was on TikTok or what, or Instagram, but I, I saw it on Instagram where it's like people would do like little shorts where it's like, when we're locked in, ain't no switching up. Women locked in, ain't no switching up. Okay, so this is somebody like, okay, we're locked in and there ain't no switching up. Like you ain't going nowhere. Like they will chase you. Okay, or you probably would chase them, this person. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So with the hangman and the hangman is clarified by the sun. So I feel like the hangman and the sun, you know, the sun is the self. It's the main concerns. It's vitality. So I was hearing fend for yourself. Um, water signs, you're encouraged to fend for yourself. You're encouraged to take your concerns into consideration. Some of you are stuck in a situation or you feel like you're stuck in a situation and you're really not, all right? You're needing to be brave. Some of you are needing to be brave. You're needing to free yourself from a situation that is no longer serving you. It could be freeing yourself from a relationship that's no longer serving you, all right? Somebody has you, I was, I don't know why I was hearing hog tied. What the hell? It's like you're tied. It could be energetically. Spirit, in what way is water signs tied? In what way is water signs tied? You're tied. Okay, the high priestess. Oh, what? So you're tied. Hmm. I don't know why it's, there's a hidden agenda here. You're tied in because this person that you're dealing with has a hidden agenda. Like what? 
Oh, Ten of Chalice here. Okay, somebody could have a family, okay, or children. Um, you're tied in because this person has a hidden agenda. This is for some of you, not all of you here, but there's a hidden agenda here. All right. And some of you feel like, I don't know, like with the 10 of chalices, this is the Lord of perfected success. This is all you're wanting. You want to have perfected success with this person, but this person has a hidden agenda. They're not telling you something or they're uh, withholding something from you. Or maybe you're withholding something from yourself. Okay, the Knave of Swords. This is Page of Swords. So, yeah, I really feel like there's a child here. Water signs. Okay, that's for some of you. Um... There is an energy of spying as well, um, finding something out. I feel like some of you are going to be finding something out if you haven't already. You're finding something out and maybe for some of you, you're not telling people or you're not telling anybody close to you because maybe it's, it's embarrassing in some type of way. But there's something that you are aware of or something that you're not aware of that you will find out. All right, but I feel like some of you water signs are are wanting that um, wanting that perfected success with this person. Okay, this is Mars and Pisces. Mars is the planet of action, desires, and aggression. This is by any means necessary. I was hearing by any means necessary. Some of you guys are willing to sacrifice yourself for this person for by any means necessary because you're wanting this Ten of Cups energy which is somewhat of like an illusion for some of you it could be an illusion you know um you know it's pisces so you know mars and pisces uh, it's a 12th house it's karma it's secrets it's self-undoing um hidden enemies like i said here all right okay so let's see what else do we got going on kind of went off the deep end there yeah, but that's something that you're going to be finding out because you go snooping. Some of you water signs are going to go snooping for something, uh, spying, and then you're going to find something out here about this person. You're going to find something out about this person. I was hearing, and then there was light. All right, what else is going on with water signs? Water signs. Water signs. Four more cards. We got the lovers. We got the three of swords. And we got the queen of wands and the two of cups. What the hell is going on? Okay. Third party situation. All right. With the lovers. Uh, lovers, Gemini. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You also could be dealing with uh, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This is Saturn and Libra with the three of swords. Wow. So Saturn is trying to teach you a lesson here, water signs, when it comes to this relationship or connection you're dealing with. All right. Or when it comes to the situation you're in, because you, some of you could, may not be dealing with anybody romantically. Right. So I see for some of you. OK, you could be dealing with a relationship that is very painful. OK, very painful. Look, at you just dragging this person by the hair or somebody's dragging you by the hair. All right. Treating you like an object, not even like an object, just like nothing. Right. So. This could be a relationship that's very painful that goes through ups and downs, ups and downs. With Saturn being here, you're encouraged to learn a lesson here. This could be a relationship that's very restricted, that has a hard time growing, that has a hard time evolving here. You know, uh, with Saturn and Libra, Libra is the seventh house. It's the house of relationships and partnerships here. So there's a lesson to be learned here regarding your relationship, your partnerships here. The Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries person. It could be a man or a woman, doesn't matter. All right. Um, if you're dealing with the man, it could be somebody that's very emotional. Like um, they throw fits, okay? They're, they're very um, feminine with their with how, with how they respond to things right they're just kind of this is the energy of being like impulsive just getting an attitude just sassy pants right 
All right, but uh, this could be a representation of the person you're dealing with or representation of you. And then we have the two of cups. I was hearing, I just want to be loved, okay? This person has a lot of passion. They just want to be loved. This is the two of cups, which is the Lord of love, Venus and Cancer. So Cancer, this could very well be talking to you. You could be desiring this love, understanding, passion. All right. Acceptance. I feel like you're desiring this acceptance. You're wanting this acceptance here. You're also encouraged to take back control. All right. Take back control, not over others, but over you, over this, over your body. I was hearing your physical body. Take back control over who you are. You know, with the Queen of Wands, she doesn't look very enthused at all. She looks kind of over it. She's not. She has this wand here, which is supposed to be energizing her, making her happy and just vibrant. But it's like a dull. It's, it's very dull here. All right. So it could be, could, could be that this relationship, this connection, the situation ship has dulled your light. It has wore you out in a sense. And all you're wanting is love and understanding. You wanted to be able to uh, connect with people, to have a heart to heart with people. It doesn't have to be romantic, but for some it, it is romantic. You know, you want to be able to trust people. All right. Without them trying to stab you in the back. I see here. I was hearing it's hard to connect with people. What is this Queen of Wands giving? What is this Queen of Wands giving? <sighs> this Queen of Wands is giving the Queen of Chalice. So yes, this is you, Water Signs, okay? This is definitely you. Look at the expression, the change of expression here. With the Queen of Cups here, she looks more happy, more fulfilled. Like she has a sense of purpose here. So some of you could have lost your purpose or lost your way because of this relationship, because of this heartache, because of this betrayal, because of this sorrow. You know, because the Three of Swords is the Lord of Sorrow here. Some of you could have been heartbroken or hurt by your lover okay may it, it could maybe you were the one who did the hurting i mean take it as it resonates but there is some pain associated here all right and all you're wanting or all this person is wanting is is happiness uh they're wanting joy as well i also see the queen of wands you're needing to listen to your intuition some of you are blocking out your intuition and ignoring the red flags it's like you're sitting up there being unhappy but yet you're not listening to your intuition or, or seeing just seeing the real deal okay some of you may not be recognizing what real love actually means what real love is all right there's a need to recognize what real love is Yes, love hurts sometimes. It does hurt, but love should not be abuse. It should not be, you know, uh, like verbal abuse, mental abuse, spiritual abuse, uh, control, uh, manipulation. It shouldn't be any of that shit, okay? So some of you don't really even know what that what that is, okay? What real love actually is. It's just the idea of having a warm body there or having somebody there in general this is like an energy of someone who's never really had a boyfriend or girlfriend who never really went through or experienced a real relationship they may have date they may have dated but they don't really know what it means to be in a functioning unit and it may be because there were um children of divorce or they maybe had saw their parents you know, interaction and maybe their parents' interaction wasn't the healthiest. It's like something like that. This is not for all of you. This is for some of you here, okay? But um, for others of you, I do see after a very difficult time, all right, a very difficult time, you know, uh, in past relationships, connections, uh, you were drained, all right? But you're finding your power again. I do see some of you are writing down, like manifesting your partner. You're trying to manifest this partner. And I feel like it's going to work, okay? Because you are aligning with what you're wanting. You've also done the necessary healing, okay? You've done some healing work. 
So I do see that as well, which is beautiful. But healing needs to take place, okay? Healing has to take place. And I do see this. Uh, some of you have left this behind, left this heartache, this third-party situation, the pain. You've left that behind, and now you're focused on healing. You're focused on um uh, listening to your intuition as well. You're connecting with people that you can have heart to hearts with. And it doesn't have to be romantic. For some of you, it is romantic. You are connecting with a romantic partner, someone who gets you. Let's get some clarification on the two of cups. Um, <clears throat> you're focusing on people that truly love you and care about you. Or you're choosing to focus on someone that you truly love and care about. Two of Cups, Two of Cups. What's the Two of Cups? Somebody got beat the hell up. And that is not funny. Like, this is somebody who got beat down with this Three of Cups here. That's wild. Okay, yeah, the moon. So the moon is here. The moon is emotions, instincts, habits. So this is kind of like a love that came out of the blue, or this is a love that goes goes through many phases. You know, the moon is ruled by cancer here. So cancer, this can very well talk uh, to you. All right. This is a relationship that goes through many phases, a relationship also that maybe someone is dealing with some could be psychological issues. I see here somebody's dealing with some psychological issues or one mo moment they're howling at the moon. The next minute they're they're fine. This could be someone who's very moody. Uh, they have issues with their e emotions here. All right. So I do see that. I do see that. And before pulling the, the Queen of Cups, you know, she's looking over at this Two of Cups and she's wore out. She's wore the hell out. Like, oh my God, like, look what I have to deal with. All right. Look what I have to deal with. So you could be, you know, feeling like this drain, like, oh my God, I have to deal with this. Or somebody could be in this energy thinking like, oh my God, I have to deal with this. You know, maybe someone you're dealing with feels this way. Take it as it resonates. But this could be somebody that goes through so many phases. You don't know what you're going to get with this person. I also see with the two of cups and the moon, it's like um, a relationship, like um, somebody coming up, coming out of the blue, you know, presenting themselves like here I am. You know, you it's like it's kind of like you've been searching for this person forever and here they are. OK. <sighs> um. Do I see pregnancy here? It's a possible pregnancy I see here. Yeah, this is a possible pregnancy. Whether this pregnancy, you're getting pregnant or the person that you're dealing with. Let me just say this. Got someone pregnant. Okay. But this is like a secret pregnancy or a pregnancy that's not out in the open yet or uh, a pregnancy that's not um, in your awareness yet. Okay, let's pick three cards for water signs. I keep wanting to say air signs. You could be dealing with an air sign. I do see that with the uh, six of swords. I do see the lovers, three of swords. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a, this is an abusive, this could be an abusive relationship that some of you water signs are in. It could be very much verbally abusive. All right. And you need to be careful with that. This is just not healthy. All right. I was hearing we're locked in, ain't no switching up. Some of you like that shit. Some of you like this <laughs> this toxicity. I don't know. Some of you like that that dark energy. You know, Saturn and Libra, Saturn. Um, you know, like I said, it's the planet of restriction, um, pessimism, structure. It's, it's, it's the devil. It's dark. It's dark energy. So some of you like that toxic bonding. Okay, it's like I was hearing two peas in a pod. You 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 you. You kind of thrive on that. I was hearing that fuck shit. Like just, I, 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 I want to fight with you one minute, then I want to fuck you the next. Like it's like, it's it's sick. <laughs> but you know, maybe not to you guys. You, some of you, some of y'all like that. It's just, but I can't. I'd be too tired for dealing with that shit. I'd be way too tired. Um, wore out. <laughs> it's like I want to cuss you out, and then I want to make love to you the next minute. It's just crazy okay three cards three cards three cards 
I was hearing the song, make up to break up. That's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for fools. Sexual arts, ooh wee. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, that's what I already said. Like, you know, <laughs> I hate you one minute, then I want to have sex with you the next. Sexual arts, sexual arts. Okay, so... Hmm, what could this be talking about? So the sexual art, somebody could be using their sex to seduce you or to drain somebody. So there's an the energy of someone using sex as a tool, as a weapon. Someone could also be using sexual arts to manifest what they're desiring, what they're wanting as well. Okay, there is somebody who could be a nymphomaniac who just feels connected when they're um, engaging and sexual acts with the person that they with. They feel like that is a sign of love. And that is part of it, but it's not all of it, okay? Um, but yeah, that's a strong energy of someone using um, their sexual energy to manifest um, what they're desiring, okay? But there is like an energy vampire here, I, I see. So like somebody that drains women or drains men, all right? I was hearing also sex magic here. But this is what needs to be, this is what's needing to be healed. So there could be something surrounding sex, maybe the idea surrounding sex, your certain ideas that are surrounding sex that needs to be healed. All right. I was hearing sex is not always the answer. Have faith. So you're encouraged to have faith, water signs. You see the cross here. Some of you are needed to have religious faith. All right. You know, with the Hierophant here, it makes a lot of sense. So some of you are focused on God, focused on, you know, your strong belief system. Others of you, you may not be religious like that. So it could be that you're needing to have faith in yourself. Uh, some of you lose faith when things go wrong or when you experience blocks or um, when when you don't see the results right away, you lose faith. You get into this low vibration. OK, so you're needed to change that up and then dreams. It's important for you to keep your dreams alive. Also, pay attention to your dreams. Some of you are needing to keep a dream journal because I feel like a lot of information is going to be revealed to you in your dreams. I don't know why I was um, hearing cancer. So for some of you cancers out there, pay attention to your dreams. And of course, keep your dreams alive. Whatever that you're desiring, whatever you're wanting, keep your dreams alive. Don't lose yourself in your relationships or your situation, okay? Okay. All right, let's uh, pull six cards, six cards. Six cards, six cards, six cards. Um, I also was hearing with the um, hangman clarified by the sun card some of you could be on the fence about a job opportunity a job offer coming through i feel like it's it's good for you to accept it you know i feel like some of you are kind of sitting on the idea or sitting on a decision um, but i see it, the sun here so i feel like it'd be a great opportunity for you so go for it and water signs all right let's see here Six cards, six cards. That's a game for fools. All right. Cutting cords. So you're encouraged to cut cords, okay? Makes a lot of sense here, okay, with the Eight of Cups here. Cutting cords from some, uh, what's cutting cords from someone from your past. Also, Looking at the lover's card and the three of swords, like damn right, cut this cord. It's abusive. It's it's negative. And you may not be experiencing this uh, abuse and negativity in the month of March. This could have been in your past, okay? And your past is still, you know, lingering in the present. And so you need to cut cords with this person, cut cords from the situation so it stops draining you. Because I see that some of you water signs are being drained. Okay, you need to chill out, chill out. 
All right. It makes a lot of sense. Some of you are needing to <laughs> let your hair down, take a vacation, get away. I was hearing a song by Lenny Kravitz. I got to get away. I wanted to fly away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you need to chill out. You could be desiring for someone to chill out. Good intentions, good intentions. So it's important for you to have good intentions, okay? Bring awareness to the role that you're playing in your life. I also feel like there could be someone that you're dealing with, with the Two of Cups showing up here. There could be someone that has good intentions, but always listen to your intuition here. So I do feel like there is someone who has good intentions and it's important for you to have good intentions as you move forward. Always have the best intentions. Okay, look at yourself. So you need to look at yourself, water signs, when it comes to certain issues or problems maybe um, surfacing in your life, okay, or presenting itself in your life. You need to take a look at yourself. Do some reflection, okay? In what way can you initiate change? What can you change? Okay. It all starts with you. So you're needing to look at yourself. Look yourself in the mirror, are you causing some issues? Mm -mm. Are you need to initiate some changes? Are you looking for somebody else to change? Well, you shouldn't do that. You should always start with yourself. We can't control other people. We can't change other people. They have to want to change for themselves, ultimately. Think light and positive. So you need to think light and positive. And that makes a lot of sense with the Six of Swords energy. Okay, this is moving towards calmer waters. All right, so thinking light and positive. Okay, the last card we have here, intuition. So listen to your intuition. Uh, I say cancer. Yeah, cancer. Uh, listen to your intuition, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, water signs. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to definitely help guide you. All right. And cloudy judgment. Steer clear from cloudy judgment. If you're having a hard time making a decision or making good judgment, don't make that decision right away, okay? Take some time, sit on it a little bit with the, with the hangman card, weigh things out, and then proceed. And then on the bottom of the deck for the healing oracle, we have procrastination. So try your best not to be in an energy of procrastination. And with the queen of swords at the bottom of this deck, uh, use your logic, okay? Use your mind to overcome boundaries, okay? Um, also, cut cords when you need to. Old ways of responding, thinking, all right? Use good judgment. So this is the end of your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.